What's going on everybody? This is Joe and I am back once again for another Ikoria Layer of Behemoths pre-release pack opening. We have done two of these so far. The first one was amazing and the second one I said was underwhelming, although we did get uh, some alternate art cards or a good number of alternate art cards and those I love. So I highly encourage you to check out both, to be honest, of our last two videos uh, or our last two videos in this series. Obviously we have arena videos and stuff. Uh, Two weeks ago, we had our uh, video for our anniversary on YouTube, so we can I can encourage you to check those out as well. We have another white D20. I say another because we had one last time also. And in the kit, obviously, I don't know if it says it in the title down below, it should, but uh, there is a code being given away with this kit. Uh, it is here, but you will not see it until at some random point in the video. So please continue to stay tuned, and you will see that. We can leave the bifold and the um, counters off on the side that they give you in the kit. Put those over there. There's also the divider. We'll leave that on the side as well. We have the packs, and we have a very, very nice, and I was waiting for one of these to be nice. We have uh, a... Promo Foil Mythic in Nethroy, Apex of Death. Very cool. It is a Cat Nightmare Beast, and it is the Obzon colors, white, black, and green. It's got Mutate, it's got Death Touch and Life Link. It's awesome. It's a 5-5. Five five. Very, very sweet. Okay, uh, so usually we try to make a deck with these. Uh, obviously, if we can uh, put Nethroy in it, I would love to do that. So please feel free to... Keep an eye in this opening for a deck. If a deck starts to stand out to you in particular, uh, any particular colors or, or combination of colors, um, yeah, uh, obviously I would love for it to be Obzon just based on what we just have, but we shall see what the deck or the uh, kit gives us. So we start with a Lava Serpent. We apparently don't want to see the main Serval, but it's there. There is a Glimmer Bell, a Cathartic Reunion, Bristling Boar, Deadweight, Almighty Brushwog, the Crustacean, Amy loves this card, a Fire Prophecy, very nice, Savai Sabretooth, Neutralize is our first uncommon, Splendor Mare is the second, and Ivy Elemental is the third, and our next rare or mythic is... Whoa! Okay, they're making it hard on us today, I guess. It is Iluna, Apex of Wishes. I was hoping that we that I would get this card just in general. It's very cool. It is the Teamer Apex. So now we have two Apexes, um, and only one of their colors overlaps, which really sucks. Uh, <laughs> like, really, really sucks. Because <laughs> we'd have to play four colors if we wanted to play both of these, as opposed to if two of their colors overlapped, then we could play three colors. And yes, I get it. We could just, with the mutate costs, uh, do it that way. That is a possibility, sure. Behind Iluna, a Swamp, and another Punch-Out token, but or Punch-Out tokens, but um, this one is the flimsier cardstock version. We have a Kogla the Titan Ape pack. So yeah, maybe. I mean, you tell me, right? By the time we're done, or leave it in the comments now, would you, because we opened both of these mythics, would you try to fit them both in and just say that only one of them, uh, you would say that you would only mutate it and not try to hard cast it and not have that fourth color in there? We have a Gust of Wind, a Ferocious Tigerilla, a Checkpoint Officer, a Bristling Boar, Lurking Deadeye, Essence Symbiote, nice, a Light of Hope, Shredded Sails, Facet Reader, Sleeper Dart, Reptilian Reflection, if we were to go with the Cycling deck, Ominous Seas, this card's so good, I love this card a lot, and a Sanctuary Smasher, and our next Rare or Mythic is... A Crystalline Giant. This card's great for multiple reasons. One, it's just a great card, and two, it can go in any deck, and I feel like almost no matter what deck I'm playing, I would put this in it because it's just very good. I mean, I guess if the deck is hyper-aggressive, maybe I wouldn't, um, because it this would be a little bit too slow for that. But otherwise, like, it's, I mean, it's an artifact, and it's a very good effect, so I would put this almost in any deck I'd play. 
Behind the Crystalline Giant, a Wind Scarred Crag, uh, which would be very good for fixing if we need it. Love that. And a Cat Token. Very cool. This guy looks awesome. I love him. We have another Kogla the Titan Ape pack, uh, one that is a little worse for wear, if you can see that at the bottom. So that's a thing, but it's fine. We're gonna rip this puppy open. Yeah, some of these are a little damaged at the top. Obviously, uh, with COVID-19 time being what it is, we had to have these shipped to us, and hey, shipping is tough, right? Um, this is, you know, our, our game store did an amazing job of packaging these for us, um, but I think, you know, shipping them multiple times over is probably not the best thing in the world for the contents, um, but this is the only kit, I think, so far that we've seen that's been a little bit busted up, so not that bad. We have a keep safe, a forbidden friendship, a snare tactician, a dark bargain, Survivor's Bond, Dranith Healer, Heightened Reflexes, Aegis Turtle, Unexpected Fangs, Essence Symbiote again, a Titanith Rex. This is a big boy, but uh, yeah, if we want to, I mean, both of our Apexes have green in them, so this is a possibility. Another Reptilian Reflection, so that's two if we wanted to go with Cycling. And a Channeled Force. And our next rare or mythic is... A Dranith Magistrate. Um, this card is fine, I guess. Uh, it seems to be much, in my opinion, much more for constructed than for limited. So there's that. Behind Dranith Magistrate, a Swamp, and an Add Card Boo. We have <laughs> a Vivian pack next. I don't like Add Cards. I don't. If you've ever seen another one of our videos, I feel like you knew that already. Okay, we have a Lava Serpent. A Maned Serval, Glimmer Bell, very nice, Wilt, Lurking Deadeye, Mysterious Egg, I love it, art's so cool, Corpse Churn, Thwart the Enemy, Patagia Tiger, Shredded Sails, Regal Leosar, interesting, first uncommon, not bad at all, a Reconnaissance Mission is our second, and a Cunning Knight Bonder is the third, caring about spells that have flash. And our next rare or mythic is a another mythic. This is the third mythic of the kit, folks, in Luminous Broodmoth. This card is incredible. So this white shares one of Nethroi's three colors, not one of Illuna's three colors. Interesting. And we got the Dranith Magistrate as well, although I don't know that just the nature of it being white and a rare means that it would necessarily automatically get in a deck. But still, Luminous Broodmoth almost certainly would. This card's great. Behind Luminous Broodmoth, a Blossoming Sands, once again, helping us cast spells, uh, or, or splashing or fixing our colors or whatever. Blossoming Sands and a Human Soldier token. It's that time. Here is the code. Obviously, you can't see it yet. I have to flip it over. But this is our thanks to you for watching our videos. We really hope that you are enjoying them. Please be aware that if you've used one of these codes already from an Aquaria Layer of Behemoths pre-release kit, you cannot use a second. You can only use one per account. So be aware of that for MTG Arena. Also, we would ask if you are using this kit or this uh, code, please shout it out in the comments after you've gotten it so that people know not to bother. We would love to hear from you regardless, and this is, like I said, our way of saying thank you for watching, for supporting, and etc., and best of luck in your openings. Okay, on to the next. We have another uh, Prickly Marmoset. We have two packs to go, and so we start with a Dranith Stinger. Everybody can see that okay. Very good. Dranith Stinger, Snare Tactician, Of One Mind, Mutual Destruction, I love this card so much, Unlikely Aid, Rumbling Rock Slide is a very good removal spell, Convolute, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, uh, Flycatcher Giraffid, another Regal Leosar. It's, this is upsetting to me, because besides the Luminous Brood Moth, everything else, um, the, this kit seems to be pointing us towards the cycling deck, I feel like, or at least a red-white base deck, and that means that we wouldn't be able to play either of our Apexes, which makes me a little sad. You tell me what your thoughts are, but I'm seeing a lot of cycling support, uh, and with how strong that deck is, I feel like that's just kind of what you have to do. 
But anyway, this is our first uncommon. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. We have a Frill Scare Mentor and an Escape Protocol. Yeah, look at that. More cycling. Um, and our next rare or mythic is a Gigantha the Wellspring. So interestingly, this is another companion. We could play this in a mono red or, or sorry, in a red deck that doesn't have green in it. So this could go in Iluna, first of all, which is red and green and blue. Uh, or we could put this in um, a cycling deck if we really wanted to, because it's red. Um, or we could just not do any of that. But it is a 5-5 five, five for 5, so that's an option. Behind Gigantha, we have a forest and another human soldier. We have one pack remaining, and it is Vivian on the front. Let's see what we get on the inside. I'm... I don't think this pack, or this kit obviously is much better than the last kit that we opened, but I don't know that it's any easier to pick what colors we're playing or what deck we're making. So uh, again, as I said last time, I would love your opinions down in the comments below. What deck would you make out of this kit? And obviously we'll see what we get in this one. Wingfold Terran, Frenzied Raptor, an Imposing Vantasaur, Survivor's Bond, Unlikely Aid, Vulpakeet, a Migratory Great Horn, Gloom Pangolin, ooh, an alternate art in Dream Tale Heron. Very cool. I have not, a lot of these alt arts, I haven't seen them. Like, they, I kind of saw them when they were previewed, but I didn't really get a chance to, like, look, look at them. This one looks very cool. I mean, all of them do, honestly. I love them. I've said this in past videos, but this is just my aesthetic for this art. If it's not your thing, I can completely understand that as well, and you're welcome to let me know that in the comments. But, yeah, I love this aesthetic. This card looks beautiful and gorgeous, and I love it. We then have a Monstrous Step, a Savai Crystal. That could help us cast some things and a Flame Spill. And our next, or our final, I should say, rare or mythic, is... a Mythos of Vadrock. Okay, uh, not that bad. It can go in just a deck that has red. It can go in red, white, blue, which is non none of our colors, or none of our uh, apexes, I should say. But yeah, uh, red, white is an option. So yeah, there's that. Do we have a foil? We do! It is... Oh, gross. It's a, <laughs> I was super happy for a second there. It is a shredded sails. <laughs> I mean, the, the background looks nice in foil. There's that. The foiling pattern's cool. But otherwise, this card is whatever. <laughs> so here's a sh foil shredded sails. Then behind it, we have a rugged highlands. More uh, assisting us in casting our spells. I like that. And, whoops, I tried to pull it away. A shark token that you would get from a uh, Sharknado, whatever, Shark Typhoon thing. Uh, so, yeah, this was an interesting kit. Let me show off. Nethroy and Iluna. I do not know if that's going to be... Yeah, that's way too shiny. Um, is that better? Yes, it is, actually. Haha, -ha, I did it. Okay, so, yeah, there are your two... We have Iluna Apex of Wishes and Nethroi Apex of Death. Those, I think, are the two best cards that we opened in this kit. But you let me know down in the comments below what you think. Are we going to be able to play either of these? Are we going to be able to play none of them? Should we just do the cycling deck and get it over with uh, and try to win and, and shark the whole thing? Uh, or should we have some fun and try to put one of these in or both of them even? Because that also sounds a little bit ridiculous. But... Any and all opinions you might have, I would love to hear from you. Commenting like that down below, ringing that bell for notifications after you have subscribed, liking the video, sharing it, etc. All that fun YouTube stuff really genuinely helps us out a lot, and we really do appreciate any and all support that you are willing to give. But for now, from us here at the Geek For All family of channels, I have been Joe, and as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.